Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. One way to our God, glory to you. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The most holy Trinity have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us of our sins, Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, Lord, and 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 Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ our King and Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, the King and our God. Who was the Lord of my soul, Lord my God, how great you are. You stretch out the heavens like a tent, and so above the rains you build your dwelling. You make your clouds your chariot, you walk on the wings of the wind. You make your angels appear, you send your ministers to the flame, you spire. You find the fear upon the face, then we learn from age to age. You rock and the ocean like a flow, the waters sit higher than the mountains. After death, they took the flight, and the wings of your thunder they fly. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place that you have appointed. Make the springs gush forth in the valleys, they fall between the hills. On the banks of the birds of heaven, from the branches they sing their song. Make the ground grow for the cattle, and the plants to serve and feed. Having made things like bread from the earth, the noise you share went hard. Will make his face shine, and his righteous face is meant hard. The truth is good, 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 the tru
peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter into faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our holy father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Milan, for the venerable Presbytery, the Diaconate and Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. For the city, for every city and community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your good grace. Honoring our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the faithful Rose and Ever Virgin Mary, and all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. Evening, morning, and afternoon, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, and we pray to you, Master of all, Lord and Lover of us all. Let our prayer rise like incense before you, and do not let our hearts be turned to evil words or thoughts, but deliver us from all that might ensnare our souls. For to you, Lord, O Lord, our eyes are burned, and you evil. Let us not be put to shame, O our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, give to the glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. I shall sing forever of your mercies, O Lord, and through all generations live thou who proclaim your truth. For you have said, Mercy is built to last forever, your truth is firmly established in heaven. With my chosen one, I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever, and set up your throne for all ages. The heavens declare your wonder, O Lord, and your truth in the assembly of the holy. For who in the skies can compare to the Lord, or who is like the Lord among the sons of God? God is glorified in the council of the holy, great and awesome above all who surround him. O Lord, God of hosts, who is your equal? You are mighty, O Lord, and truth is your garment. It is you who rule the sea in its pride, it is you who still the dirty in its waves. It is you who trod great high and wonderful like a corpse, scattered your foes with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, and yours is the earth. It is you who founded the earth and all it holds. It is you who created the north and the south. They bore her on shirt, shout for joy in your name. Yours is the mighty arm of the Lord, your hand is strong, your right hand ready. Justice and right are the pillars of your throne, love and truth walk in your presence. Happy are the people who be shall with joy, and who walk in the light of your face, O Lord, who shall rejoice in your name forever, who make your justice the source of their bliss. For you, O Lord, are the glory of their strength. By your favor it is that our might is exalted. For our ruler is in the keeping of the Lord, our king in the keeping of the Holy One of Israel. O all who spoke in the vision, to your friends and prophets, you said, I have set the crown of a warrior, I have exalted one chosen from my people. I have found David, my servant, and with my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall protect him, and my arm shall make him strong. The enemy shall never outwit him, nor the evil ones oppress him. I will be down as well before him and smite those who hate him. My truth and my love shall be with him by his name. By my name, his might shall be exalted. 
I will stretch out his hand to the sea, and his right hand as far as the as the river. He will say to me, You are my father, and my God, the rock who saved me. And I will make him my firstborn, and the highest of the kings of the earth. I will keep my love for him always, with him my covenant shall last. I will establish his dynasty forever, and make his throne the rest of the heavens. If his sons forsake my law and refuse to walk in thy decree, and if ever they violate my statutes, refusing to keep my commands, then I will punish their offenses with the rod, and I will scourge them on account of their guilt. But I will never take back my love, my truth will never fail. I will never violate my covenant, nor go back to the word I have spoken. Once for all, I have sworn by my holiness. I will never lie to David, his majesty shall last forever. In my sight, his throne is like the sun, like the moon, it shall endure forever, and the faithfulness of the skies. And yet you have spurred and rejected, you are angry with the one you have anointed. You have broken your covenant with your servant and dishonored his crown and dust. You have broken down all his walls and reduced his fortresses to ruins. He is despoiled by all who pass by, and yet because of some of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his bow, and you have made all his enemies rejoice. You have made his sword keep away, you have not called him in battle. You have brought his glory to an end, you have brought his throne to the ground. You have cut short the ears of his youth, you have beaten his grace upon him. How long, O Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your anger burn like a fire? Remember, Lord, the shortness of my life, and how frail you have made the sons of men. What man can live and never see death? Who can save himself from the grasp of the grave? Where are the mercies of the past, O Lord, which you have sworn in your faithfulness to David? Remember, Lord, how your servant is haunted, and how I have to bear all the insults of the peoples. Thus your enemies taught me, O Lord, mocking your anointed at every step. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Look at my enemy, there is no mistake, my father. 
when the Lord came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple. Imaginings. 
May the might of your kingdom be blessed and glorified, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. 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 Oh, 
May Christ, our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, by the power of the precious and life-creating cross, whose universal exaltation we celebrate, and through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, and of our holy father Nicholas, the wonder worker, Archbishop of Myra and Mycia, of the holy proto Margaret, Archdeacon Stephen, the patron of our church, and of the holy great martyr Nicotus the Goth, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. William 
for our God, loving vision, we long for the venerable presbyterate, the diacon and the Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Evelyn, and for her blessed memory, and that every transgression, voluntary and involuntary, be forgiven, the last prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That she may stand unto them before the face of the government seat of Christ, and that her soul be committed to the place of life and life, where all the saints and just repose. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. God, and the raising our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, that come both host and ever and every with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious of the whole understanding, merciful and outness, loving us all beyond expression. Look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is to all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and ever.
So Jesus and the apostles went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many got to know about it. People from all the towns hastened on foot to the place, arriving ahead of them. Upon disembarking, Jesus saw a vast crowd. He pitied them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them at great length. It was now getting late, and his disciples came to him with the suggestion, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Why do you not dismiss them so that they could go to the crossroads and villages around here and buy themselves something to eat? You give them something to eat, Jesus replied. At that they said, Are we to go and spend two hundred days' wages for bread to feed them? How many loaves have you, Jesus asked? Go and see. When they learned the number, they answered, Five and two fish. He told them to make the people sit down in the green grass in groups or parties. The people took their places in hundreds and fifties, neatly arranged like flower beds. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish, Jesus raised his eyes to heaven, pronounced a blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to distribute. He divided the two fish among all of them, and they ate until they had their fill. They gathered up enough leftovers to fill twelve baskets, besides what remained of the fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered five thousand men. Immediately afterward, he insisted that his disciples get into the boat and proceed to the other side toward Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. times about Jesus being pressed in upon the crowd and needing to withdraw from them for a period of time in order to find some rest in his humanity. But today we hear that this kind of labor was shared also by his disciples, that they too were pressed in upon the crowds. We hear so much so that they could not so much as eat. And so Jesus encourages them also to do the same thing. And he encourages us also to do the same thing. It is important for us to work hard among the people of God and to serve the people of God, to proclaim the gospel, to do charity and service to all of those in our lives but it is also important for us to withdraw from time to time for a bit of peace, a bit of solitude. We need both of these things in our lives as exemplified by Christ and also his apostles. Glory to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty God, our fathers, we pray to Peter and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to Peter and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Paul of Rome, and for our most reverend and beloved William, for our God loving Bishop Lima, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ.
changing them by your Holy Spirit. That for those who partake of the hand, they may bring about spiritual vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in you, not brethren nor condemnation. Moreover, we are here to hear the sacrifice of the divine day. The poor father God has made God proud of the most preaching evangelist. Martyrs and lepers that is in the industrial process of the festival day. It's best with our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the bell of hope and death and Mary. Asking 
opportunity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To the Lord. Do you, O Master, to love us all, we commit our whole life to hope that we implore, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake of the clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgression, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation. Dear calling Father, God of heaven, and say,
Thank you. 
gospel mystery is of Christ, the last word of it, thank the Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. We thank you, O oh, Master, that the fact of our souls love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and more mysteries. Through the prayers and intercessions of glorious health of Lord, and the Virgin Mary, and of all your saints, make straight our path, but when us all that we have to do, our life and save God ourselves. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, you are more powerful than all those who live on high, and you care for those who are humble. By your own will, you went up upon the cross and stretched out your hands, desiring to save all people. And to bring them to knowledge of the truth. By your honorable ascent, you fulfilled all humility and were revealed to the nations of the great power of the Heavenly Father, the Most High and Unseen God. By the cross, you revealed our exaltation from the ancient fall, of which we were condemned, the first miserable fall. Therefore, we pray, O Master, Mother of mankind, and our God. Look upon us, your sinful and unworthy servants, who today celebrate with love the exaltation of your venerable cross, and who offer worthy honor and worship. Do not turn from our prayers, O King of heaven and earth, and keep our nation and all nations in peace and tranquility. Watch over your church, and guide our hearts and all our thoughts, that we may be worthy of eternal exaltation. For by your venerable death upon the cross, you will to raise up our hearts from worldly corruption and to lead them into your heavenly kingdom. For it is you who have mercy and save us, and to you we return glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Glory to 
Jesus Christ. Savior, 